communist leader Lenin in 1924, Joseph Stalin, the general secretary of the party central committee, crushed all of his rivals and became supreme dictator of the Soviet Union. Sandwich. That'll be $1,295.31! No, I'm just kidding. From the 30s on, he led the Soviet. With Roosevelt and Churchill, he had a tete a tete. And then a little Joseph had a mighty big urge that the peasant landowners he would have to purge. Iron Joe is what they call him, but to me, he's just my buddy Stalin. And now, my host, a guy who's more taxing than a politician, Loud Kennington. If you'd like to need a fix and call on us. If you'd like your bike to work, cause there's no bus. If it's really badly broken and your spokes are just not spoken, call on us, call on us, call on us. Hello, Russia! Loud Teddington here! And if I can't make you a deal, my dog fetch you in a line! Tape recorder! <gasps> can we talk about this? Yes, sir! All you've got is that scary big bunny with those eyebrows and the bushy mustache! But I've sent many people to Siberia on camping trips. Here at this camp, the trail mix is made of gravel. <laughs> Day pancakes. <laughs> I need your sandwiches. I eat them up. <laughs> no problem, gentlemen. I have a backup plan. We can use your lunch to make a map. I will help the U.S. beat Japan if he lets me expand into Eastern Europe. I just have to say that I'm a huge fan of all your movies. They are so scary and suspenseful. <laughs> and so, in the summer of 1776, America finally has a fight to call its own. What's the tape recorder for? What's the tape recorder for? What a grouch. Face it, genius. You've been played. Oh, really? <laughs> Demo man! <laughs> you know, for a ruthless despot, it's nice to see my boy and him getting along so well. Ow. Sorry, my little bourgeois kulak. Great American pastime is new to Uncle Joseph. <laughs> Cars. Nobody calls Loud Kennington the Headless Horseman or Washington Irving the author either. That's my buddy Stalin. Ah! Iron Joe is what they call him, but to me he's just my buddy Stalin. During the 1799. The Headless Horseman still appears in the Western Forest. And you know folks, Washington Irving is a great literature writer who wrote The Headless Horseman's Sleepy Hollow. Yes! Oh, I hate this! 